Here's a quick tutorial on how to use the Rocket Cruising Guide to New Caledonia. The guide opens with a satellite image of all New Caledonia. There are 10 control icons on the top of the screen. Point to the question mark icon and you'll see exactly what each control does. Click on the question mark icon and you'll go to an explanation of how the guide works. Using GPS routes, keyboard controls, second licenses and updates. The first three control icons are for navigating from one place to another on the guide. Point or click on the rocket and a mini chart appears. Point anywhere you want to go on the chart, click and you'll be there. The second icon goes back to where you just came from. The binocular icon opens an index for the guide where you can look up the name of a location or a subject, like the South Lagoon. Click and you're there. You can also navigate from chart to chart by clicking on the edge of the chart. The middle set of four icons are for overlaying chart information onto the image. The first one, a frigate bird, gives you an uncluttered aerial view. The compass rose icon overlays chart information like depths, lights, and markers. The lights flash at the correct rate and you can see the distance the light is visible and the colors in each sector. Point to a navigational aid to see a photograph and details. Click on the anchor icon. The anchor icon overlays sailing directions for that area. The little sailboat shows routes and directions for navigating to and between the anchorages. The tiny steering wheels are route waypoints. Point to them to see GPS coordinates and for waypoints on approaches to the reef passes you'll also see information on tidal currents, markers, and approach photos. When you zoom into an anchorage, the little sailboat shows the approach and routes into the anchorage, a windrose showing protection of winds from different directions, and if there is a helicopter icon, you'll see a helicopter view. When you see a rotating click symbol, click on it to see a 360 degree panoramic sphere image. You can look all around, including up and down, as if you were right there. Point to an anchor icon on the scene and you'll see an image of the anchorage, GPS position, bottom type, and other information about anchoring there. We personally anchored in that exact location and did our own hydrographic surveys of the anchorages. On the bottom of the anchorage view, there is a 50 and 100 meter swinging room circle. Drag it over a place you intend to anchor to see the available swinging room. The eye icon overlays information about the area shown in the image. There are often camera or other icons on the image. Point to them to see photos taken at those exact locations. If the image has a rotating click symbol, when you point to it, click on it to see a 360 degree sphere image taken at that location. Sometimes when viewing a topic, like this trek to the top of Mato Island, you'll go to a separate page with information about that activity and additional images. You'll use the back icon to go back to, to the original view. The anchorage level also shows the VHF weather radio schedule and phone and TV reception. The information in all these categories changes as you zoom in or out, overlaying information relevant to the area shown. Let's rocket back to the all New Caledonia view. On this level, the information concerns the whole country. On the anchor icon, you'll see cruising information on passages to New Caledonia, aids to navigation, the buoys, beacons, 
cardinal markers, lateral markers. You can forget the old red right return rule. It doesn't work that way here. And what symbols we use on the charts in the cruising guide. Itineraries provide some recommended cruise plans. A three-day lagoon cruise plan showing the routes and images of anchorages and major points of interest close to Numia. A five-day South Lagoon cruise plan, and so on. Marine Charts shows all the charts available for New Caledonia. The guide includes more than 200 verified GPS routes to and between anchorages. And this menu item goes to a page describing how to use the GPS routes on your plotter or GPS. The Coral Reef menu provides critical information for navigating in coral reef environments, including aerial photograph interpretation, anchoring in coral reef environments, and some tips on the best way to see coral reef dangers when you're cruising here in New Caledonia. The eye icon on the all New Caledonia level includes weather, services, showing you where to find supplies, supermarkets, marine hardware, general hardware, fuel, cooking gas, and services like yacht services, tourism information, medical services, ATM machines, the post office, mobile phones, marinas, police, repair services, and freight services for all Numia or just for a part of Numia. Ducos, the industrial center of Numia, and the Neuville Plaisance Slipway. Communications provides information on VHF channels and coverage, weather schedules, and getting your smartphone set up to access the internet almost anywhere in New Caledonia, including the 3G and 4G bands your phone needs and how to recharge a visitor's SIM card online. The section on health is really important because staying healthy while cruising in New Caledonia is essential to enjoying your cruise here. When you go to some of these topics, the four overlay icons change to forward and reverse areas to step through the topic and return to the original scene. On other topics, like parks, the center icons disappear and are replaced by a menu to different sections of the topic. New Caledonia has an extensive network of marine reserves, including closed reserves where you are not allowed to enter, protected species, rules on whale watching and fishing regulations you really need to know. Now let's zoom into Numia, because that's the only place you can enter New Caledonia with your yacht. We'll do that by just pointing to Numia on the overall view, and then zoom in to Petit Rad, which means small harbor, where the information overlay is now showing a menu bar with information on fuel, yacht supplies, the slipway, Wi-Fi, port officials, Port Moselle Marina, Marina Port de Sud, and the Sailing Club, CNC. Click on the anchor icon, and the little sailboat gives details on entering the port, where you can anchor, and must not anchor. Point to an anchor for details on anchoring in that approved location. Now let's enter Port Moselle Marina, where you clear in you'll find all the information about the marina. The location of the marina office, the visitor's wharf, and under the information section, the correct way to notify the marina and do the clearance. That should get you started on using the cruising guide. Just remember, you can go anywhere in New Caledonia in two clicks. From the Isle of Pines in the south, 
to the Recife de Interacasto in the north, including the Loyalty Islands. Also, keep in mind, there are areas you can't go without first visiting the chief of the community, controlling the area, and doing kutum, a traditional gesture of respect. And to find out about the vast array of activities and facilities on land, from treks, tours, beaches, scenic places to visit, car rentals, restaurants, road maps, and much, much more, use the companion Rocket Travel Guide to New Caledonia. Seriously, take the time now to actually do a cruise plan, a make-believe virtual one. From entering New Caledonia, sailing into Numia Harbor and the Port Moselle Marina, then maybe doing a three-day lagoon cruise, visit the marine reserves, read the regulations, go diving, walk on the beaches, decide where you want to go if the wind shifts to the west, sail back to Nomea, go shopping, find the ATM machines in the center of town, use the travel guide to rent a car and drive out to do the Dumbia River Trek, or maybe do a drive all around Grand Terre. Sail down to the Isle of Pines, stopping along the way in the anchorages that look best for the kinds of things you like to do. When you actually arrive in New Caledonia, it will be like you've been here before. If you don't have the rocket guides to New Caledonia yet, here's where you can order them. There's a link also in the description below. Thanks for watching.